Right y'all, I thought I would just do a little vlog since it's been a chill Sunday so far. No, wait, never mind. It's Saturday. Um, and I'm out at the range shooting all by myself and it is so relaxing. Um, I just really want to talk to you guys about this. Earlier this week, my shots have been like strangely bad, like out of the blue, like sporadic. And it wasn't like, I mean, for seven months straight, I've been shooting con like consistently every day and I, imp I improved my accuracy and then suddenly, bam, I was just, I just could not shoot. And then I pinpointed the fact that I was flinching by recording myself shooting um, again and again and then I figured out that I was flinching and the whole reason why I was flinching was because I was overthinking about my trigger. Um, I looked more into depth whether this was normal or not because again I don't really know a lot of people that bow hunt um, around my area and also I like taught myself how to bow hunt um, and archery and just trying to figure out you know the whole journey of becoming a better archer slash bow hunter and I guess it's because two weeks away is my Montana hunt and I mean not gonna lie I feel a little anxious um, I've worked incredibly hard to fund the trip and also seven months of consistently shooting and regardless of how tired I was I still made time to shoot and I don't know I guess I was just overthinking like what if I miss and and I know I understand like oh yeah you're just gonna learn from the past there's no there's no such thing as a perfect shot or like no one's perfect um but it's kind of crazy to think back to like hey this is I don't know when's the next time I'm gonna be out west again um and that empty void of not knowing when's the next hunt makes me feel like I'm putting myself under a lot of pressure to get an antelope and I don't know I'm like a little stressed out um today at the range I am actually shooting really great um I'll post a couple little snippets here and there but I've been getting groups at 65 yards 70 yards and I'm confident and I notice that whenever I rush a shot I trigger slap and it's just I don't know it's a whole trial and error thing but it's just really nice to get outside and it's just archery has just taught me a lot about myself my mentality where I'm at how the way that I'm thinking can affect my shooting and I just wanted to share that with you guys because I just don't want anyone to feel like you know everyone's perfect everyone's shooting out to like 65 70 yards 80 yards and maybe you're shooting at home at like 20 yards and there's no, that's not bad. Don't rush yourself to shoot longer distances because it took me so many months to actually grow out of this phase of like, in such a bad mindset that I was not a good archer or I just can't do it. I just didn't have the shooting capabilities because I don't have a hunting background. I didn't know a lot of people who hunt and no one to teach me how and that is not the case here and it's actually very possible for you to become a better archer so yeah I just it's so freaking insane how your mental like your mentality affects nearly everything but still like even your shooting like regardless how many months of work you put into it um accuracy has bumped up and then suddenly two weeks away I'm starting to overthink about the hunt I'm starting to have anxiety seep in and then suddenly my shots are suddenly out of range like out of the blue sporadic and it's weird but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know it's just kind of crazy
I was aiming dead center and this is what happened. Pretty nice group. 65 yards. <sighs> okay. Gotta set up rods. I mean, I got two rods in my car um, already set up with hooks and everything. Um, I'm not sure if I should rehook them. It'll be all right. Um, so my father-in-law actually recently got me this rod from Sam's Club. Let's see, let me show y'all. I'm gonna hit the fan. Ugly stick. I don't know. It just says ugly stick. Ugly stick. Like me. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. That's me right there, guys. That's me. That's my twin. Does it look like? Does it look like my twin? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how much he got this for. He surprised me and Sydney with it because I don't know. Surprise! <laughs> um, yeah, he got it at Sam's Club. Pretty cool. It has a little kit. Um, it says Surf Pier Complete Fishing Kit, Berkeley Gulp Saltwater. Yeah, it has some. Um, some of this is this called jigs i'm so bad at names you guys like you'd expect for someone who catches fish and like i don't know hook is a hook sometimes i just forget what it's called like earlier this week someone asked what kind of hooks i had i'm like i don't know it kind of like it's a little slanted and but apparently it's a popano rig <sighs> again i'm getting off topic i want to show you guys what's in the kit I think I'm going to take this out to the beach today, too. So we're going to have a total of three rods to use. Um, Built-in rod holder. Oh, okay. I was like, there's a rod holder on this kit? Never mind. Boom. <laughs> it's the kit that holds the rod or it connects to the rod. Um, guys, I'm so fucking tired. Whoa! Ugly stick was about attacking. <laughs> Again, proceeding with Anne being very tired and possibly hallucinating. Uh, it has a six count of two peeler crab slash three inch shrimp in the color new penny. That's very neat. I never actually got these. I was supposed to get. Um, the new penny color shrimps, but I never did, so this is pretty nice. Um, maybe try to catch some trout with this for flounder. Um, y'all are gonna butcher me for this. What is this called? Swivel? Uh, uh, uh an accessory? I don't know. I know how to use it, but I just don't know. I forgot the name, guys. I'm so sorry. This is supposed to be an educational video. No, it's a vlog. And I am 100% real with y'all. I forget names. We also have these kind of hooks. This is perfect. I'm going to use these. Um, we got, is this one ounce? Mm, I don't, I'm not sure if these are one ounce weights. It feels like one ounce, possibly two. We got some more hooks right here. Very nice, very nice. Um, here it comes with the names. I don't know what these are. Baby pins without the needles. I don't, I don't know. We got beads. We got, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna skip this part. And uh, cheek heads, this is what it's called. I mean, I've used these before, but I just forget. Organizers and little, little things, and it's pretty cool. It has a little, um, little booklet that says fisherman knot, and it teaches you how to tie it. But yeah, pretty neat, guys.
it is currently Sunday night. It is time to wind down, getting ready for the whole entire week. Um, I got my planner here to plan out the days of when, what time I'm practicing, the days that I do work out, and also mornings that I wake up a little bit earlier to go fishing. And this is actually a weekly thing. I work seven days a week, six to seven days a week actually, and sometimes it's a little hectic or it's a little difficult to find the proper time or days to actually plan out me time or I don't know. Um, it I over the past couple of years I've really made it a priority to kind of balance work and life. Um, especially the things that make me happy which is being outside so Sunday night planning is crucial also in addition I'll show you guys what I'm gonna write up um I have to type up a packing list for my mon upcoming Montana hunt that is two weeks away I'm so nervous but I'm so excited um it's freaking insane you guys like Coming from someone who just, I don't know, two years ago, I just thought it was like nearly impossible for me to get into hunting because I just didn't know anyone. I didn't have access to it. And now I'm here shipping myself off to Montana to hunt antelope in the middle of the prairie, which is mind blowing to me. But uh, anyways, on top. my planner uh, basically roughly um drew out um a little bit oh here let me show you guys this is basically my this is what i did it's a really i don't really fill this up because i don't really like filling up my planner but i usually have like the same basic stuff like when i work out um always a reminder to shoot every day uh work i'm actually taking my weekend work off because my parents are actually coming down friday to visit me and yeah basically it's basically it like a little rough template of what my week's gonna look like and then this is what my montana packing list is looking like so far you know clearly bow quiver set of arrows um broadheads release antelope tag Hunter safety, binos, rangefinder, knife, extra set of charged battery packs. I have to buy another, like, cell phone because my cell carrier doesn't really work in Montana. So this is, that's going to be a little spiel. Uh, Garmin, GPS, license, ID, credit cards, glasses, contact solution, contacts because I am so blind. Hygiene stuff, uh, makeup, my journal, I'm pretty sure I'm going to start journaling or doodling while I bake in that blind um, and wait for antelope to come into the water hole. Uh, iPhone stand, sets of camo, uh, light, a light layer, bug spray, locks for my bags, black clothing for hunting in the the blind, a light jacket just in case it does get a little chilly, um, waterproof bags, dresses for going out if the girls want to go out, <laughs> wind indicator, fuel tips, hunting boots, shoes, flops, locks, I guess I got locks twice, cash, water bottle, filter tube, um, clearly my hunting bag and so this is basically let me show you guys so this is basically what i'm gonna put my bow in um i got it off amazon first time using it um it's not i think i got it for 250 it has locks on the side quality wise i'd give it like a seven and a half out of ten yeah um i mean i have no complaints so far but still i have no idea um, 
it looks really sturdy. It feels really sturdy. So hopefully it'll hold my bow in peace. But yeah, that's basically what my Montana packing list is looking like so far. I'm going to double check with the guide. If they feel like I'm probably forgetting something, but you know, that's why I always type a list up two weeks in advance. Just so for the next two weeks, if I do forget something, I'll type it up. And yeah, that's basically what my packing list is like. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little vlog type uh, shenanigans. I am actually really excited to vlog this upcoming fall season. I am planning for a coyote hunt, a deer hunt, clearly, um, possibly a hog hunt, but and also antelope hunt for the next two weeks. My focus is 100% on this antelope trip and then after I come back, I'm going to start setting up trail cams on public. You can see my little puppy. Cook, you want to say hi? Hi. 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 Hi.